Hi guys, Steve here. I'm going to go through the Barotrauma tutorial with you because it looks a good fun game, but the tutorial is quite long, especially if you have to wait for all your friends to do it as it's multiplayer as well. Right, let's go through the training. Basics and roles. Let's go through basics first. Anything. I'll skip the text. WSAD. Use a cursor to turn. Press E to close instructions. Left click on the door. Pick up an item. Let's take the door. Okay. Has to go down. Shift to run. It's got fried. Right, device is broken. Choose screwdriver. Um, two. Okay. Right mouse to close the cabinet. Select two. Left click on it. Pair. To equipment to seal leaks. Let's get that on. Fuel, okay. Double click to equip it. Drag the fuel onto the welding tool. Okay. To go down the ladder. The right mouse button to aim your tool, and the left mouse button to use it. Okay, repairing that. Nice. Diving suits allow you to swim underwater. Ooh, let's go up that ladder. Stick a diving suit on. Diving suit's empty. There we go. Give it some air. Oxygen tanks. Let's go underwater. Obtain a wrench. Tells you what to do on the top right. Put on six. Parrot. <laughs> I kind of like mechanics. Left mouse button to interact with the pump. Uh, turn it on. Speed. Oh, I need to fill this up with water. Okay. Right, mouse button to close that. That is broken, so I need to float. Get to the ladder and then climb up. Let's go in here. Raptors. It's unnasty. 
Oh, what the hell's that? That's a big fella. I've completed the basic tutorial. I think I'm going to get eaten. Okay, that was easy enough. Showed you the basics. for now. Stairs a submarine. I like how you can look through, you only can see through the window. Yes, on to start with tutorial. On your way, alright. Guess we're going here. Navigation. We need to use sonar, passive or active. Passive listens to sounds. Active sends a pulse out. We can do directional pings as well. Okay, let's check out the sensor. Right, that's passive. Active's better. Take it out, our sub. That's probably the wall. Let's do directional. So it's in front of you. Mouse about to close. Chevy bearings, it's time to move a submarine. You can move a submarine around by touching the screen. Manual steer it. Touch above the submarine to raise it. Okay, let's give it a try. What you need to do is undock, big red button. Let's put the uh, autopilot, turn the manual off, so it's an auto, it's already off. Turn the directional ping off, so we can see everything. Right, let's undock. Steering. Stay in the black. We're going up a bit high. Let's move a little bit. I guess that's a wall. Along the line it is. Up and faster it goes. Maintain position. Autopilot, I think I'll use that. Oh, man. 
silence. It's looking good. Doc. Oh, look at that on pro. Right, mouse button. Not bad, cadet. Run a large submarine by yourself, you need crew. Everyone orders. Rooms to get them to do different tasks. To look after a sub from the start. Let's try to have an actual submarine, okay. Royal Captain, that was a bit quick. Where's he gone? I guess we're going down. Captain Gun, oh he's down here. Unauthorised. Oh he was fast, wasn't I? Turn the sub. Nothing in the submarine will work. Just all oh, just turn the reactor on. Click middle mouse button to open command interface. Drew reactor turn on. Is that on? Okay, that's kind of nice menu system. Case the crew play up, shoot them, order them to fix leaks. Which one's that under? Okay, maintenance. Fix leaks. Order the device to be repaired. Repair electrical systems. I kind of like that. It's a nice ordering way. Order mechanical to repaired. Complete my education first. Before I get a firearm. Order the bottom turret to be manned. For it. That covers the basics. Alright, use what I've learned to reach the next outpost. was left or right. I see a wall to the left so let's go right shall we?
quicker so we're getting closer. Let's go up. Let's go up slowly. Oh, that's narrow. Back a bit. Back a bit. Full reverse. I'm going to crash. safe. The room's fairly safe, it's well protected and it's in the central of a uh, sub. Insert every fuel rod at once. Take it bad things will happen. Increases the heat generated. If we get too much heat it'll melt down and explode. Hand me a fuel rod. Show you how to insert it. Back with your reactor and drag the fuel rod into the reactor. Right, I can turn it on automatically, but it works slower, well, reacts slower than manual. I can adjust the fusion rate, consumes more fuel, gets more heat, then I can adjust the turbine to get more power. We've got the heat and on and off. Let's put the fuel in. Put the fuel rod in, click the power button and click automatic control. Is that simple enough? Just done it. Great job, thank you. That's easy enough. Switch it to manual. Uh oh. And the fusion ray, then the turbine output. Using the fusion ray on the left consumes more fuel, gets more heat, and use the turbine to get more electricity. If the turbine too much, it will cool down, but if I don't use it enough, it will overheat. Keep the gauges in the green. The lights go off suddenly, it's probably on automatic mode because it's slower to respond. Like from the new 
children. Interact with the reactor, switch it to manual. Slide and keep both gauges in the green. That's about 40%. Stabilised on there. Oh, instructor. Okay. That was easy enough. Welcome to electrical. Sort of junction boxes. Power from uh, reactor needs to be distributed. So we have the junction boxes come in. The junction boxes break, which you will. Any device connecting to them will cease to function. Your job is to fix that. Keep it from happening. Make it more damage resistant. Power fluctuations or damages electrical devices. Chicken water don't mix. So anytime there's a leak there will be damage. Fast repair. Interact with junction boxes. Two for screwdriver. Standing in front of that. Okay. Wires have been removed. Here's a screwdriver in one hand and wires in the other. Let me show you. Screwdriver and the wire. Okay. Rewire the junction box. E. Touch the wire to the power. Rewire the lamp with E. Maybe it's that. It says some job. There you go. Oh, I suppose it's a light. I thought it's a fuse box to be honest. Okay, that's engineering done. Skip over there. Right, what's next? Done an engineer mechanic. I thought it'd be the same thing. Mechanics maintain mechanical devices such as engine pumps, etc. And fix any leaks in the hole. You have superior welding skills. Move to the room on the right. Start. Away. Guess we're going down. Take care of the submarine and she'll take care of you. She moves the uh, submarine. No surprise there. Clinical device. You take care of it. Wrench and fix it. Okay. Free noises. Oh, you need to press E. There we go. Get the wrench equipped. And half splits when it's preparing. Talented. Let's do 
welding and oh crap. Three. Let's fix that. We'll have a diving mask from the supply cabinet. Select a blueprint or recipe, press the button, and you've got yourself a brand new toy. Deconstructing is even easier. Put your item, plant the material, and you get materials back. You lose some of the materials in the process. How about you make your own wrench? Put some iron oil in from the cabinet, refine it. I need to refine it in the deconstructor. Okay. Easy enough. Keep your work tools and workplace tidy. A bit now. Oh, that's easy. Alright, let's do the next one. Security trainee. Security officer protects a submarine from internal and external threats. We've got handheld weapons and ship mounted weapons. Okay. First line of defence. 
Move to move room to the right, continue. Yep, let's start. And we're going down again. Oh, that's a bit of a jump. Down again. There we are. With your back straight recruit. No. Welcome to the armory. Crew needs their armor to store their weapons. Come in lockers. It's situated near the command room. Handheld weapons. Equip yourself with body armor. Find some in the cabinet. Okay, let's grab our bullets as well. Close that. It, equip it. A gun and ammo from a rack. Load it. Let's get to shooting. Enemies that manage to board your submarine are usually weak enough to dispatch with handheld weapons. Us can infect a human with a deadly parasite. Well, that's not good at all, those. Move enemy. It's two. I mass one to aim. Come here. That's one that. No shooting. Let's find something bigger to shoot. Proceed to the coil gun loader. Following you. With your deft walk. I could have left the door open for me. How oh, rude. There's a gun load. Control various weapons. On the hull of a submarine. And loader, super capacitor, and periscope. This should have ammunition compatible with a weapon. Load some core gun ammunition into this one. Just hold one, it takes two hands, okay. Right, one's button to close. There we go, loaded. Super capacitor provides power for the weapon. Turn this one on by dialing the crank. The higher it is, the faster the weapon's charge. Don't go red because it'll overload it. Let's go orange. Yeah. Periscopes are used to control the turrets. Use the mouse to aim. Let's find something to shoot. Kill the enemy outside the station. There's a periscope. There's a shocky. Come on, shocky, where are you? Shoot my sub. Oh, there it is. What's some of that? Don't like it up on. Old left mouse button, rapid fire. Whooped his ass. Good now, he can sleep better at night. Yeah. Oh, simple enough. Let's get on to the final one. Is a medic. Medic called doctors treat ailments. Antigen, give them drugs or CPR if they've fallen. Move to the room on the right. Let's start.
be done with it. Med bays where medical items stored and treatments stored. It's got a medical fabricator in. Some equipped with beds for patients to rest in. Smaller subs that have medical bays. Morphine you can find in the cabinet. Okay. You bring it here, just highlight it me with your mouse, press H. Turn to the health interface. So that's H everyone. There we go. It's got a concussion. It's a medical interface. Use a body part to see the infliction. I can see the concussion. Drag a medical item from your inventory to the body part. Okay. That's helped you out. Open them up. That takes care of your headache. And I'll just make a drug. Close that. H gun. Right, I need to combine both of these. Go to the medical fabricator. Right click that, close it. can do. If you want to be more used, tend to the patients next door and turn the light off if you're going to rest your eyes. Okay. H to get out of that. Or you should either turn the lights off. You can get up. There are several patients here, each with a different affliction. Give me a health scanner HUD, see what's up with them. In our health interface, click on suggestion. Okay. And manually drag medicine to the wound. The cabinet's stocked with whatever I want. Right, here's a scanner. Four. It's got burns from an explosion and electrical shocks. Everything. Okay, go H to heal. Who's having a fit? He's just having a seizure. Oop. Let's put bandages on his arm. It's convulsing. It's gonna have an alien bursting out his chest any second. Alright, fixed him. Luther, how would you pronounce that? Treat him. Get that, put him on his head. He's got psychosis. Oh, that looks a bit rude, doesn't it? I'm picking him up, I'm, I'm body snatching him. Oh. Heal them. Took you. Blunt drum. Alright, what's he need? Morphine. Got broken ribs. He's just trying to hump him. 
Got it. When somebody s sustains enough damage, villains of critical state get immobilised or perish. If I get immediate aid, perform the CPR on them. Come back to med bay, take them. Fine. We need CPR. Grab. Okay, I'm not grabbing him. There's a CPR button. I guess that's it. It's like I'm sitting on his head. <laughs> Got no time for that. Yay! Done all the tutorials. I hope this helped you out. Please consider subscribing if you're not already and click like if you enjoyed it. Thank you.